Welcome to a moment in time with Taylor. I wanted to give you a good 10 more minutes or so to gaze at this. <coughs> Excuse me, glory. You can see the steam coming out here from the crater. And you can see this massive crater down here. Yes, we're back again, Geo, and we're looking right over this cliff right here. Snuck right to the edge of it. Actually, I wonder if I, oops, sorry. If I get that in the shot, I feel like it gives a little better perspective. There we go. Hey, Eric. Oh, thank you. Oh, who, who said bless you? Thank you, who said bless you? Oh, Gregory. Oh my gosh, I haven't seen you in so long. How are you? Nice bitmoji. Ooh, cratery. <laughs> Yep, you can see the shadows of the clouds. If you look closely, this here, this lighter colored path here, that's actually a path and people are walking on it. Let me give you a zoom. See that? People. Crazy people, but people nonetheless. <gasps> hey, thanks for the super hearts, Linnell. Hey, Zen. Yep, little ant people. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. The rain stopped. I went through the lava tube and I took um, some footage for you guys um, for tonight. No, it's not water. It's totally bone dry in there. It looks like a black desert. And this part here looks really cool. It's all like broken. Like the you can see where this like mountain here, this mountain protruded up and all this is like all cracked and broken from it. I'm in Hawaii, yes. <laughs> Eric. You got caught in the loops, yeah I did. I crashed. Sarah, yay, you're here so you can see it. I will go to the lava, don't worry. I'm only gonna be doing this this video for like ten minutes. And hello Lou. <laughs> Ash um, no, it's actually like the rock bed, like the actual crust, I think, is just broken up from the, from when the mountain erupted, I don't know. Someone can correct me, Geo might know better. Astronauts trained here, I don't know, that could be kind of cool. That's what Lou said, he said it's like the moon. Hey, thanks for all those super hearts, Sarah. It is amazing, isn't it, Patrick? I mean, that steam is coming out of the center of the earth, you know? That's amazing. Yeah, this is a giant crater. Here, let me give you a little, a little pan around here. I'm gonna walk right up to the edge. So, there's one side of it. And then, and down. It's a long way down, really long. <laughs> And over here. Hey, thanks for the super hearts, Aaron. And then you can see the actual crater steaming over there, too. Hey there. Whoa, thanks for the super hearts, Aaron. It's crazy, the steam is like dying off. I wonder if it's just harder to see as it gets warmer. You see how it's like you can barely see the steam now. Earlier, if you watch my last replay, you'll see the you'll see the really big steam. Oh, thank you, Sarah. Yeah, I was hoping you were gonna watch the last replay because the steam was like gushing out. It looked so cool. I think now that it's warmer, it's just harder to see it because it's not causing so much, you know, like kind of condensation in the air. Is it condensation that makes steam? Because it's like the hot air mixing with the cool kind of humid air I would assume. Hey lion! I feel like half of the things I'm saying about this stuff is probably really just wrong. <laughs> I am not an expert. I am just a vacationer. Oh there you go. There's some more steam. Look at it. It's piling out. It's so cool. I could stare at this all day but I figure we want to see some other stuff. I'm gonna try to go to the ocean entry and see if we can get some footage of that. I think it'll be kind of hard to get footage of but we're gonna give it a shot. So I just wanted to do 10 minutes here. Let's see how long we have left. Oops, wrong button. And this button. 
boxes. Okay, so we're halfway through. We have five more minutes here. Let me know if you want me to show anything in particular. Otherwise, we'll just gaze at this volcano. I might not be into sun gazing, but I'm definitely into volcano gazing. I think that this can be very healing to look at nature and just connect with how small we really are. You know, the small little ant people walking around down there, so tiny. Hey, Ahmed. Toxic gases, yes, Karja. Yep, you don't want to get too close because that volcanic ash and gas will just basically kill you. <laughs> Spitfire, that's awesome. You said you need peanut butter because you're jelly. You can come over if you want. Well, not, not her, but yeah. <laughs> We're cosmic dust. We are. You're bigger than a banana. That's true. I'm good, Ahmed. How are you? Will you fall like this? Will you fall like this? No, I stand back. This smoke. Are you going to clean the forest smoke? Are you going to clean the forest smoke? No, no, we are not going there. We are at a different place. Oh, you don't feel well? What did you eat yesterday? Did you get enough sleep? Did you drink water when you woke up? It's good to drink like a full glass of water as soon as you wake up. Drink as much water as you can because if you think about it, you weren't drinking all night long and you're digesting your food and you're detoxing, so your body uses up a lot of water. Uh, so definitely you want to drink a lot when you wake up. Sad. How come I don't see your bubble on the bottom? Your bubble's ghosting me. Are you in here, Seth? Hello, if you are. We're on the cliff edge right now. When a camera collapses, you get a volcanic crater. Oh, I can move if I'm in that picture. Okay, let me know if you're good. You didn't sleep well? Yeah. Um, I do ASMR videos if that ever helps you to fall asleep. Oh, hello, you're in Anaheim? Yes! Okay, good, 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 good. You stay put, you stay in LA area. We're gonna meet, we're gonna do a scope together, if you want. If you see someone selling oysters in a can, get one, there's a, pool, a pearl inside. How do you know there's a pearl inside until you open it? Don't they sometimes not have pearls? When a caldera collapses, a volcanic crater forms. Okay. Oh, so that, is that what I'm seeing on the edge here? It's like some, this actually collapsed. So it actually broke downward, not upward. I was thinking that that, like, that shot up and created all these cracks. But now it sounds like you're saying this collapsed in. Sounds like a plan? Yes. Uh, we'll have to come up with something good to scope about. Magma does come up, though. Cloud shadows are the best. I know, it's so peaceful here. You can hear all the bugs. Thank you, Sarah. Just so nice, it's so relaxing. The weather is perfect for this. It's not rainy, so I can film it. You think that's right? Thanks, Zen. Food, yeah, I need food. I don't know if that's what you're talking about, Linnell, but I am hungry. <laughs> Next, you want me on an African safari? Okay, Patrick, I do want to go see the pyramids in Egypt. It won't be my next scope, but it will be a trip that I take in the future. Thank you, Sarah. Oh yeah, let me check our time. We're just doing a few minutes here, you guys, so we can go explore, maybe see if we can get a little closer to this. All right, we're at nine minutes, so we're gonna do one more minute here. If there's any last words, any last requests, comments, concerns, questions. You're from Egypt, Ahmed. Are you in Egypt right now? One of my good friends is, uh, you can see penguins in Africa? What? One of my good friends is from Egypt. Foods are always great scope subjects. <laughs> very, very true. Very true, Linnell. And thanks for the super hearts, by the way. I don't know if I said that. Oh, good, wait. I'm glad the picture is clear. This is a Samsung Galaxy Note 5. Oh, you're living in Berlin. Okay. You're going to the pyramids then? When are you going? It's an aqua colored can the size of an oyster. It's supposed to have a guaranteed pearl. Oh, but why would I want a pearl? Oh, thanks, Patrick. You're so sweet. I'm thinking what my, my next trip away from New York will probably be Florida maybe Tennessee, and uh, then my next big trip after that, I'm hoping for Easter Island. African penguins are in Namibia. Oh, I won't be in Namibia, though. I'll be in Egypt. 
That's cool, though, that there's penguins in Africa. I never would have guessed that. I would have got that wrong on trivia. Even if it was true, false. I would have been like, false, and been wrong. <laughs> so thanks for the knowledge. Uh, yep, I went through the lava tube just now. I'm surprised everyone thinks that thing is so cool. Like, I wasn't even going to do it, because I was like, that seems just boring. Like, I've been through caverns before. <laughs> but people are like, no, you got to go through the lava tube. <laughs> okay, okay. So I just walked through it, and I was like, yep, that was extremely boring. <laughs> I guess we're all into different stuff. I mean, I guess it's kind of cool to think about, but I don't know. It's not like I'm seeing lava. I want to see lava, you know? I'll live on the edge. <laughs> but I did film it for you guys, so don't worry. I'll share it with you tonight. <laughs> Thank you, Ahmed. Florida, where both crocs and gators live. Yeah, that's true. Well, it's dark. It's a little dark, but there's lights in there. The one on Maui is really cool. Oh, okay. Is that Thurston? Maybe that's the one that he's talking about. Thanks, Cyber. It's a fun keepsake. Oh, the pearl? But you, I've had pearl, I've done that before. They have these things called like oyster parties or pearl parties where people come around with a bunch of oysters. You pick your oyster, you open it up and you get the pearl inside. So you have to pay like, I don't know, whatever amount to open the oyster and then you get to keep whatever's inside of it. And then they upsell you on like jewelry mounts and things like that. Time's up. Okay, Linnell, thank you for keeping track. I am gonna end this scope. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, so, but that's basically what I'm saying about the oysters. I've just like, my mom had a few of those parties when I was younger and I guess I'm just kind of like, yeah. It's not like, I don't know, you guys, I've seen a lot in my life. It takes a lot to uh, get me excited, but not a lot. Like, it just depends on what it is. You know, we're all interested in different things. So this gets me really excited. This reminds me a lot of the Grand Canyon, which I absolutely, absolutely love. Grand Canyon is probably my favorite place I've ever seen. But I do really love Hawaii. Hawaii is slowly replacing Grand Canyon. Con las ostras? Que es las ostras? Look, Pablo. Cuidado. We're on a cliff. Let's walk up to it. Look, ready, ready? There's the cliff. There's my foot. I don't really want to put it too close to the edge. <laughs> Wee! You guys want to go out there? The one on the road to Hannah? Hannah? I don't know. I'm in Big Island. Grand Canyon is amazing. Where are the oysters? Oh, <laughs> cuidado las ostras. <laughs> oh, Pablo. All right. <laughs> Thank you. You taught me more Spanish. I'm going to end this scope. Thank you guys so much for watching. Ahui ho, yes. Uh, remember, you're all worthy of being loved and feeling comfortable in your own skin. This has been another moment in time with Taylor. Thanks for watching. Ahui ho.